Drive it and drive it under somebody. First and foremost, Kwahala, Yahweh Bashim, Yahushai Bashim, or Kwakwadash. Double honors to the head apostles of Great Millstone at Ruel. Peace and citations to all the Yakim out there on the highways and byways, noise in this road abroad. <clears throat> all around the world through the spirit and power of our Lord, Yahweh Bashim, Yahushai. You know, it's one thing, you know, to protest, you know, but. But it's another thing to go out there, you know, and act a damn fool and start stealing and looting and just doing a whole bunch of buffoonery, you know. And this is why you jakes, y'all get judged, you know. You jakes, y'all get judged. This is the reason why. We're in this captivity today because we just, we're just wicked as all hell. And we're not following and keeping the law, statutes, and commandments. You know? Like, our people are just so stupid and just don't have any sense whatsoever. You know, you want to go out there, you want to lewd. You want to start stealing, you know? You know, and, and you're just playing right into the hands, into the tricks of Esau Edom, the so-called white man. Because he excites these things and he excites these riots to pretty much have you jakes, you know, completely go off. And this is this is how you jakes you get caught out there. Follow not a multitude to do evil. Follow not a multitude to do evil. <clears throat> and you know, and this is what happens. And you jakes you you go off and you start doing dumb shit this is why that the most high put the spirit on whoever was driving that truck you know to just take off like that because that's judgment ultimately of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai so I don't feel so, I don't feel sorry for that individual that got caught underneath that wheel and I got dragged to his death because ultimately that was off the hand of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai because he was clearly he was doing evil over there raiding and, and stealing 
And that this is one of the commandments, <clears throat> you know, written in, in the book of Exodus. So this is um, Exodus chapter 23, verse 2. And it reads, Thou shalt not follow a multitude to do evil, neither shalt thou speak in a cause to decline after many that that <clears throat> resist judgment you know so that's judgment that, that was clearly judgment of the heavenly father you know because lord said follow not a multitude to do evil and what were them jakes doing you know raiding that truck stealing you know What, you, what they should have been doing, you know, you should be seeking after Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, so Yahweh, so that the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai could lead you to a camp, you know, near you, and to get fed the proper way, and to come back to these law, statutes, and commandments, you know, come back to the ways of righteousness, you know. That's how you really, that's how our people really should, you know, that's what our people really should be doing, you know, not going down and demanding justice from a nation that don't give a fuck about you, that's been killing you ever since you got to this land, you know, how is it that you're demanding justice and you want justice from a nation that clearly does that doesn't give a damn about you that doesn't give a fine fuck about you you know and there's states in their constitution that the so-called negro man is three-fifths of a man that hasn't been changed they haven't changed that so the only way to do this the only solution for you is to you know Seek Yahweh Bashim Yahushai so the spirit can lead you to a camp, you know, near you to get this word and to, you know, apply it and to come back to the Heavenly Father. But y'all don't want to do that. Y'all want to be wicked as hell. You know, you want to follow, you still want to follow the ways of Esau, you know, and that just doesn't work. My people are foolish, they have not known. You know, but this is why judgment is coming upon you. This is why the Most High is allowing these things to happen to you because you just don't get it. So this is Jeremiah chapter 4 verse um, 22 And it reads For my people are foolish They have not known me They are all sottish children And they have no understanding They are wise to do evil But to do good they have no knowledge You know They're wise to do evil You know they're wise to stop a truck And try to break in a truck And start stealing you know Or you know or scheming or trying to find ways, you know, like cooking up, you know, drugs, you know, cooking up some crack, you know, and selling it to their own people or, you know, just, you know, they're wise to do, you know, to do that, you know, but to do good, you know, to come back to this truth, to come back to your power, to come back to the ways, the law, statutes, and commandments, they have no knowledge, you know.
That's why scripture says, Hosea 4 6, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge, you know? <laughs> because they want to reject knowledge, the Most High is going to reject them, you know, and, and turn them over to, our, um, to Esau, you know? The Most High is going to use Esau, Edom, to um, punish, you know, you Jakes. You know, and I know, yeah, obviously, you know, we're not getting no justice, you know, we're not, we're not getting no, we're not getting, you know, retribution, but the Lord said, we got to wait, wait ye upon him, you know, because Esau Edom ain't going to give us that. But to go out there to start stealing and looting and doing all this buffoonery, niggerish buffoonery, it's not the way, you know? That's not the answer. All is it all it's just gonna do is just gonna further and further your oppression even more. Cause Esau Edom is gonna eventually grab you him and you niggas up and putting you in jails, you know? That's going to give them an excuse to just pass more legislation, you know, and enforce, you know, martial law upon the city, which is which eventually is going to happen anyway, because it's, it's prophecy. You know, that's just the prophecy. But you're giving Esau more ammunition. You know. Because scriptures talk, scripture also says this too. There is a way which seemeth right unto a man. So this is the book of Proverbs, chapter 14, verse 12, and it reads, <clears throat> There's a way which seemeth right unto a man, but the, but the end thereof are, are the ways of death. You see, it seemed right for you, you know, okay, if we're not getting any justice, we're just going to, we're just going to go out and just raid trucks and raid stores and, you know, and all of this and burn down you know and raid deal it burn down you know it may seem right on to you but the ways thereof is death because it's going to lead you to death you know just like what you saw right there um with that um with that jake that got cut underneath that um that the and that semi truck you know the the wheels of them semi um of them of that semi truck you know, he thought he could just grade that truck and steal some shit, but the most I brought judgment upon him, you know. So looting and stealing and right, <laughs> you know, what I'm saying it's just not the answer. The solution and the answer is to for you, Jake's. To come back to the Heavenly Father and to come back to who you are as a people. That's the solution because the Most High put us in this condition. Yahweh Bashim Yahushai put us in this condition. And Yahweh Bashim Yahushai is going to take us out of this condition. You know, that's how it works. That's how it's going to work. You know, it's not going to work by your own hands because you don't have no might in your hands because we're still. Technically, we're still kind of under the curses of Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter, even though that these curses are being lifted off of us slowly but surely and coming upon our enemies now. But we're still kind of under these curses. So we still got to wait on Yahweh Bashim Yahushai to, de to ultimately deliver us up out of here. But ultimately, we know that two thirds of you Jakes are going to perish and die, you know. 
but it's it's gonna it's gonna start with the elect, you know, and then the rest of it, the rest of the nation will come back to us in the kingdom, and that's how we're gonna be forever liber liberated from this captivity. So with that, I want to give all praises to you. Howa Bashim Yasha Bashim Rakwakwadash. The blessed to that apostles of Great Millstone. And shalom to you. And salutations to Yaakim out there on the highways and byways. And with that, I want to say shalom.